Dad, you will let me take the car by myself. I'm gonna be 16 in two weeks. Okay, yeah, technically my learner's permit requires you in the car with me. Technically I don't get my license in two weeks, but you know I can drive. You said I was better than mom. I can three-point turn, I can parallel park, and I observe the traffic laws like it's a religion, so it wouldn't be responsible for you to let me drive because you know I'm awesome at it. Oh, this is so unfair. I hate you. You're gonna ruin me socially. The coolest girls in freshman year, the ones whose parents are probably making huge donations to Mom's Gala tonight, who live in the massive houses on the hill who won't talk to me, started talking to me. Because I said I would take them to the dance. And they're like, you're 16? And I'm all, yeah, I am. And they're like, cool. And we had lunch together every single day this week. And they're so excited. It was all thought out. You and Mom were supposed to go to her benefit thing. You weren't supposed to get sick with a stupid fever and be stuck at home. If I let them down, if I don't get the keys to the car right now to pick them up to take them to the dance, I am dead. Or I might as well be. They will make it their life's work to ruin me. I'll be marked, mocked, probably even shunned. My high school experience will become hell. I'm not being dramatic, Dad. I'm being accurate. This is how things go. So I'm begging you, just, just, just go to sleep. You have a fever. You should get your rest, you know. So just go to sleep now, and when you wake up, I'll still be here in exactly three hours before mom gets back. Please, dad. My life depends on it.